Well, I've still ruined it by pressing the button too early. Hello. I oh, I forgot. Okay, never mind. Forget about this. All right, this isn't botched, I swear. Just went like this at the same time. That was well timed. Uh, can I interest you in a spicy take? I sure. Pretend. With extra seasoning. <laughs> Extra spice. Well, you'll have to pretend that it's really extra spice. Uh, I thought that I Am Legend kind of was not good. First, okay. I thought you'd seen that movie already. No, you discussed it not that long ago when I ad admitted that I hadn't. This is why I decided to finally do it. Uh, not recent, like within the past few months. I will... I'm... Mm. I don't know that I... Explain! I am a bit confused about that, so yeah. Explain yourself. So here's the thing. The... There is a discourse online regarding, and apparently now in reality, we'll get to that too, regarding the alternate ending and the theatrical ending and which one's the right one and blah blah blah. And I was attempting to watch what I thought was the theatrical one because I found it online and I knew that there was a difference I knew that it was a significant one, so I was like, well, I'd like to see it the way it was originally released. And if there's an alternate, I'll watch that after. And I did not do that by accident. What? Oh, I got a different hat this time. <laughs> You're still Jewish, though. I'm not Jewish. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. It's it's pretty Jewish. <laughs> it's not okay. It's only because it's of got the beard. suspenders and squinty eyes. What are you talking Very about? Very Jewish. <laughs> Oh dear, okay. I'm just um, saying the hat with the beard and the glasses looks a little bit cartoony. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's fair. Uh, so anyways. What would a Jewish mob look like? Well, they existed. They were in Peaky Blinders, which you've obviously named your... <laughs> yes. Uh, we've derailed me again. <laughs> um, uh, difference in endings and whatnot, and yes. Yeah, yeah, so, so I, I actually didn't know that the theatrical ending was the intended ending. I don't know that I was bothered by it, though. I was. So here's here's what here's my discourse. Uh, I'm still thrown off by this. This is still very strange. Why do I gotta go first when I don't know how to do nothing? Let's go. This should actually okay, work. Whoa. This should work properly. Okay, now. so I got. Oh, that's a landmine! Run, 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 run! Oh, oh I okay. thought that meant it was like a thing I could pick up. That's just for starters. Oh, well, that was. I'm claiming sabotage on that. Um. Here's the thing. People are gonna. Or some people might say, "Well, you didn't watch it the right way, and therefore your opinion is skewed." And I don't disagree because. Had I seen the theatrical release. I probably would have liked it okay. I still have a criticism, which is still... Even if that was the case, I'd still think what I think. But it, but the, the main criticism I have is I just think the alternate ending kind of ruins the whole thing. And it was odd then to me that you not only knew that there was an alternate, but what were acting like it was the like, oh yes, of course, it's right. It's the correct one. To me, it's the better version, but I'm interested because we well, have... Well, here's, uh, here's the question, is what do you mean by better? Because if you mean simply more... Developed? Yes, if it feels like it's clearly the way it was intended. Am I going to hit him if I do this? Well, I hit the other guy. You're dead. You're dead. And he's I not dead. I will say this. It clearly oh, had I guess I a... Have time. <clears throat> religious underpinning that they kept in and was the theatrical very and it bad was very yes well that's my main criticism -fisted, however okay the aiming mechanics of this what a is jump remember. yeah because you switched is, things on me well i'm gonna finish this guy me. off there you go do double can i do you that do, yes I, that was my first that was my second shot already oh, okay gotcha <sighs> well that was still 20. That's decent. Oh, but that's not great um, so that's so. Th anyways, here's my here's my point. My criticism remains regardless of the alternate versus theatrical is part of the criticism. But I have a criticism regardless of that, which is why it would have only been like okay. It would not have been like oh gosh, I love this movie. Um, 
so the thing you're right i'm starting to see what you mean about this not being i didn't think i was going to care about this enough to have it be distracting it's a fun game I... it's not well, i'm mostly having trouble with it being so you just lost enough health that it's my turn again <laughs> so there's fall damage oh, yeah. okay fine i thought it was sorry. until the time ran out so uh sorry P sidebar real quick so this game is it is turn by turn and each unless you take damage apparently right so even if it's your own you just, just molested me in some horrific way. Um, so your bazooka is typically the, the weapon you want to use because it takes the or it delivers the most damage, unless you're standing like inches from the guy. Oh, but I was next to you last time, and it still um, didn't work. But two shots at the same guy is better. So um, I enjoy that kind of stuff. He's like begging for mercy. Um, Why am I down here? You, you have, have a full battalion, battalion. Yes, so, I mean, it's various worms, and, and you, you have, have to kind of get everybody to different, different spots. I What's with the peanut crate? Do I want that? Uh, what? Then whatever this is. Is that not a peanut or like a banana? It's 2D. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, you do want that. Ammo, it looks like. Yep. Okay. I played a flash version of this long time ago that was not this convoluted. Uh, I'd so, use the blowtorch and dig up. Wait, well, I, I thought I couldn't dig up. I thought I could only you dig can, sideways. No, you can dig up. But, well, you can dig angled is what I was saying. So there you go. Push blowtorch and then B and then you can actually control it. There you go. B. kind of want to follow the slope of that. Yep. Up. Oh, does it run out? Yeah, it does. That's lame. So you have to take two I'm times. not going to be able to develop a full opinion with this. This is like debate club speed round. <laughs> I've got the 60 seconds of my turn to make a point. Uh, I, well, so I do have an opinion uh, or a, a warning for you, and that is if it gets into sudden death, the water starts rising, so having guys up higher is going to be a better service you to you. You overestimate just... how much I want to win this. Well, I'm just saying. I don't think I will care. This is not going to blow you up. Nope. It didn't look like it hurt Go me away. that much. Uh, anyway. Um, so... <clears throat> I, it's certainly ham-fisted, but like you said, it, it feels like what was meant to be on the end of the film. Well, how's that? Okay, well, that's not the same thing as ham-fisted. No, my point is the way that they cumber, cumbersomely The theatrical uh, ending it, is the one that feels... Religious. Oh, no, well, that's true. That's not the endings that do that. That would have been a part of the plot anyways. No, but I mean, the the ending, the theatrical ending was very much like he stepped out and was kind of like, there was this almost yeah, but the religious aspect element to it where I was like, I didn't get that. No. The religious aspect, okay. Is this your turn or mine? I'm not, it's yours. Waste it if you want. I need to make a point. The alternate ending sucks, and here's why. Because, basically, what it wants you to think... And I'm glad I don't actually have to explain to you what it is, because I would have had a harder time doing that. It wants you essentially no! to think... No! I didn't mean to do that. I just killed myself. Oh, that means I'm ahead. Uh, what it wants you to do is essentially say, yes, you're supposed to have sympathy for the monster mutant zombie vampires. Well, because it's supposed they, to mean their humanity is still there somewhere buried underneath. That's, I think, their their point. I mean, no, I don't think that was their point. <laughs> I mean, no. And also, no, I don't think that's true, but... You don't think that's true? Not really, because if, the argument that the... What the film seems to be meaning to say... I think that what the mean What the argument is meaning to say is... He is, in their eyes... A monster to them because he's like kidnapping their people and experimenting on them. Well, because they it's like, go back to this kind of primal. Well, level. sure, but that's the thing where it's like, okay, but this, there's no live and let live with these things. They do, in fact, eat people. Like they ate the inhabitants of Manhattan. So there isn't a oh, it's just a misunderstanding. We need to sing Kumbaya together. Which is what they kind no. of attempt. Yeah. They're a little like, oh, he thought that they didn't have any social structure, but they do. 
and uh, that's fine. The reason they were, uh, you know, attacking is just because he kidnapped this chick, and if he gives them back, they'll be hunky dory. And I'm like, that's I don't true. buy that. Oh, it's no, not my turn. Thin. Give me that back. See, I thought it was at the end of every action I was done. Well, okay, I'm uh, I'm coming for you still. This is gonna you hurt me, you, isn't it? You, yes, it is. Oh, that was probably three points, and I lose a turn for that. You can use a parachute, though. Oh. Well, but I didn't think a fall that far would be worth it. So that is, that's what I'm just going, I reject that kind of arm twisting of going, oh, it's, he's not, because here's the thing, but the problem is, you might say, well, the theatrical release doesn't have that, and therefore it's fine. But the problem is, that made me realize how much they were setting that up throughout the film. It, yeah, they did. Where it's like, they sort of portray him as having a kind of messiah complex. You missed. Oh, well, you got the other guy. Of like, and which I also still kind of feel. That was dark. I just killed myself. Well, he was a dead. Like I killed him, and so he. So he killed himself. And so he turned himself into the the. Yes, Do I still have this thing activated? Okay. Yep. That apparently, took three turns. Apparently, it is probably four even. <laughs> So, but they set it up in that they multiple times draw attention to his quasi messiah complex of like, I'm going to save everything yeah. and I'm, I'm going like to fix this, zero, yeah. which at first I took to be like, okay, he's clearly cracked. He's grief ridden. You yeah. probably would be like, I'm going to, what else do I have to do but try to fix this? Well, I thought when he, when they brought in the other characters, that kind of offset. Awesome. I thought that, see, that's where I actually thought the bringing in of the other characters is where the film dipped, even with the ending, even if the endings were intact. I thought the chick really? was not interesting. Well, she was She was not a compelling flat, character. I agree. You just that's true. hurt yourself by doing whatever you did. Oh, you're not you, dead. You blew me up. That was not my turn. You just handed me this. Oh, so they blew. So I think you that's shot the. the I think you the, shot the barrel. And no, what happened is they blew up themselves because of the fact that I actually gave them enough damage to die. And when they do that, it's it like you. almost like a last. Ditch. Oh, I told you four. No, <laughs> oh, you were so close. I'm in the walls. Uh, but we'll get into that because that's my main criticism that doesn't rely on the endings. For those who are going to be pedantic and say that I did it wrong, which I might have. Um. So you just didn't like even the the. I didn't of like her characters. anyways, but I would have gotten over it had the theatrical ending been my only experience. But the alternate made me analyze the film more closely when I realized sure. they were setting this up the whole time, where they multiple times draw attention to his weird sort of fixation behavior, and then on top of that, they literally have a scene at the end where it's like he has the weird like he understands the weird alpha zombie thing, and is like here's your chick back. And here's your share of the <laughs> meat wild. And he looks at like the wall of oh I can't stop this once you I'm can out. Push B. Okay. There you I go. thought it would stop automatically. Well now hang on, that was not a full length turn, I swear. I was it, gonna come it, and get you in the yeah, hole. It wasn't. It, it, it's gonna come and hunt you down. Uh, and then he looks at the wall of like here's all the pictures of the people of the ones that I like tried to experiment on and cure and they all died and doesn't that make me just as much of a monster? And I'm like, frick, no! I won't buy that narrative. No, I don't. I don't feel like that. It was a lingering shot of him, like, oh, I see now. From their perspective, I was the monster, and I'm like, I don't care about their perspective. I see, I didn't quite get that. Kind it of a... felt prompt. That wasn't me. I thought I was gonna be able to throw it through that tiny little opening, and I wasn't. All right, how much time am I gonna get this time? Because I'm coming for you. I'm coming, I'm coming for you. you got a minute, so. Um, yeah. Oh, really? Your hat. <laughs> this can't possibly be the hat. It is, because mine, I'm using the tiniest worm. <laughs> you, well, okay, well, no, hang on. I gotta get creative. Can I fill this with water? Uh, can you I can with a stick a gun. grenade in here? You, you, I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna, gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna lob it up. Like I'm playing skee ball. I don't want a full strength. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jump! <laughs> well, that didn't work. Um, I thought they were deliberately doing that I motif of like, that, oh, he feels bad because well, because what? 
what's going to happen if this you actually take I the ending seriously, which is, well, he gives up on the cure he literally just found. Th this is but then he's what? It. He's going to go off and experiment further it. with the it cure? More, yeah. He's going to have to try it again? Because what are they going to do when they have the cure? They're going to have to start capturing these things and forcibly curing them, which is what he was doing. So it tries to make him feel bad for something that was the only course of action. Unless the only course of action is we just find a way to coexist. Which I, no, don't, I don't think that was it. It was more. I certainly I, hope not. I certainly see your, your. But it's like the thing he did was I'm what not. anyone would have to do if they're going to fix this. Yeah. Like he's going to find a cure somewhere else, and they're well, going to have to start forcibly that injecting line when these he talks things. About like, let me save you. Like I just want to save you. That's that. See, I got the vibe that the film was trying to make that like, see, he's um, he's a sort of egotistical savior oh, complex. I see. Well, certainly savior complex, but I don't think I think you're correct in saying it puts into conflict the truth that wait, wait, they wait. need to I don't saving. want this. I don't want this. I don't want that. That's stupid. I'm going to dive on it some for some reason. <laughs> I didn't want to press that, so the thing I had active last time stays active. Yes, it does. Sorry. Because I was trying to shoot you because you were right there and have less health than me. I don't like this game much. The, <laughs> the mechanics are finicky. Anyway. You get used to them after I a found that I'm just like, I won't have sympathy for these things. I understand the, the, uh, the criticism that I suppose is somewhat valid is that he is... Uh, I mean, he rashly judges, basically saying like, "Oh, early on, he's saying they have no higher brain function and they have their social structure is completely broken down." It's like, well, okay, clearly that's not the case. But I don't think that that makes it any less the right thing that he's doing. Right, I agree. Aha! I think that you you bring up a good point in saying the dilemma is you must cure them. I mean, you can't just leave humanity in that And which state. means they're going to be like probably not happy that you're forcibly curing them, but it's like, well, okay, they're not in their right mind. Yeah. So who cares if they're going to be... Really? Well, but that comes down to a bit of a moral question. Come on. Even medically where it's like, if somebody's out of yes, their but mind they're and not... they're asking not to be cured, Yes, but these things I mean... can't ask that. I will have you. Look. Uh... Oh. I don't... Oh, I hurt myself from that! How? <laughs> yeah, because you can't be too close to someone with a shotgun blast. What if it ricochets off their chest? <laughs> anyway, that was dumb. So that just threw me. And oh, then I realized... that rear can't get back up there. And then I, that's going to hit you if you toss that at me. I'm not using that. Oh. I'm using that. Uh, the problem is, yeah, that is clearly what's intended because the rest of the film sets that up. So having seen it now, I can't accept that the other ending isn't slapped together. Okay. So that's the main critique, is I just thought that the whole premise of it is it's... Perhaps it goes too far to call it anti-human, but I'm almost on that level where it, it, hmm. I got a kumbaya live and let live thing. And I'm like, I that's just not acceptable. So the only other option is, well, he's going to have to go and experiment on a different one that doesn't have a mate <laughs> and then cure them that way. And that'll be OK, because didn't you see the sad eyes that the weird zombie creature was giving him? You're supposed to care about that. And I'm like, I don't at all. So I found it really not. What on earth are these names? We don't want to play against AI. Sure we do, and you and I can just play switching back and forth from our team. I guess, but why are we playing with uh, with uh, Charlie Chaplin? I don't know. That's what I was about to change. Uh, uh, drama anyways. Okay. Uh, okay, now we're being racist. <laughs> <laughs> you um, go first. I got I to finish okay, my point. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so that, yeah, the ending threw me. The theatrical release, A, I mean, it was too late. The, yeah. the 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 alternate ending retroactively made me realize what the film was setting up, which means the whole it's, film was aiming at that. Just because the ending true. didn't deliver yes, I agree doesn't mean that. that the film wasn't setting it up. I agree. Which means the the theatrical release is a better is a worse ending because of the fact that it doesn't match, even if it would have been more narratively interesting and correct. <laughs> and yeah, it just had I not. Had it not made me analyze it more closely, I might have gotten away with thinking, oh, yeah, it was all right. But it just made me think, oh, I don't like this. And here's here's all here's your here's your double 
your 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 spicy two for one. Uh, it put me not too far out of the mind of the Avatar movie, which will seem strange. I'm leaping a little bit more, and this is a, perhaps a more... The blue people Avatar movie? Not every time, that's what we say. Well, because the other one is so bad that it almost yes, doesn't no one ever speaks of it. mentioning it, but still. But, so, so perhaps, is this my... This is the AI. The AI's thinking. This I know. was back in 2008 when the AI couldn't do anything yet. He's gonna miss me. No, he isn't. Nope. Oh, you dirty... Oh, hey. Didn't kill himself. That probably killed him more than us. Pain in chest. Yeah, that was weird. I'm gonna go kill Lyle or Pile. I'm gonna give him some piles. I'm gonna mess with his piles. Hey, what does this, what's this do? No. Airstrike, no, that's. I'm just gonna blast him upside. Ah, I forget the buttons! I push want A to be a button! Push double A. It, I can, but it won't let me actually go anywhere when I do that. There you go. Wasted my time. That was just some acrobatics for you. Okay, you're, why are you standing so close? Because I want to blast him well, but he, you're straight. You're going to get blowback. There you go. I hate the, <laughs> I hate this! I want to press A for some reason. I can't accept B as the action button. <laughs> I want to press X as the action button, as a matter of fact, but I can't. Um. <sighs> so it's it. <clears throat> hey, do you know where I'm going with my avatar linkage? Because I'll no. admit this is a more controversial opinion. I'm kind of the pro-human in the Avatar movie too. I'm like, yeah, some of them are being kind of jerks, but they are like turning your back on your entire species just because some of them are kind of dickish. I'm like, <laughs> sorry, but that doesn't make you any less of a traitor to the entire species. So, I don't know. There's also, I think, Avatar is a much more clumsy dances with wolves kind of sure white guilt film. It is a white Where it's like, film, okay, true. yes, these this alien race is living at perfect harmony with, with nature because their planet literally gives them everything they could ever need ever. It's like, well, forgive us humans for living on a planet that doesn't do that. That, in fact, wants very hard to kill most of us all the time. So it comes across as a touch, shall we say, disingenuous. Oh, where, it, no. yeah. where it's like, oh, yes. We're the bad ones because our planet doesn't just give us everything we need ever. But anyways, that's more of a controversial opinion. And it may not even be a fair comparison because I recognize that... Oh, those things are... There is no way he could have planned that. That was the AI being sneaky. Um, can I hurt people underwater? Uh, yes. How? still shoot you just you do lose health as your tissue Arthur's oh yeah cowboy is well can I hit them both if I hit somewhere in the middle uh, I would go more for the lower taking to get him or not yeah there you go I did it who's Paul Oh, I was like, okay, they don't... I guess they did. I was thinking of some random guy named Paul. It's like, there was no Paul. I'm Paul! At the end of all the... Um, no, um, I... I don't disagree that it is a bit anti-human, which is odd. Avatar or the other one, or both? Do you agree with my linkage that they're kind of both anti-human? It's thin, but I, mean, I get what you're saying. I, I see, see, ain't no person okay, could... see, no, that's... So, yeah, I... I do think that... Here, I'm going to try to prove you wrong by doing the exact same thing to him. Well, I mean, I clearly it's possible. The game's establishing that. I just don't think that anyone but a computer could predict it. We'll kill our own guy. <laughs> me, me, me. Um... You did. You killed our own. Oh no, that was. Oh, was that not him? Was the blue them? Or, oh, the blue's them. No, no, never mind. So you did get one of them. Oh, it's their turn again. Um, 
So anyways, that's... I disapprove of the Kumbaya ending. I... But here's my main... Crit or my, my non-ending related criticism. It's about the chick not being a compelling character. That's true. Because... I, I do agree they, with that. She appears, and the whole dynamic... Because I'll admit, up until that point I was interested, because I think Will Smith was, is actually doing quite a... Okay... He's got some kind of weird ricochet technology. No, it's a it's a homing. It's a uh, yeah. That okay. one actually is a. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. I I have him set to Angry Scott, and it's hilarious because at one point I got blown up, and the guy comes up to the other guy and goes, "Did he do that?" <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. Okay, let me zoom in rather than looking forever out. Um, who's left? Uh, these two. Just, yeah, just those two. What if I just do one of these? Airstrike, yeah, you could. Uh, move it over to them, obviously, and then you can decide which, uh, I would go more... Is this gonna be an insta-kill? No, I that, well, that's actually underneath, though. He's got coverage, so I would do what's-his-head. Oh, oh, yeah, come on. Oh, I probably could've got them both. He's not even dead. That was, uh, that was dumb. Um, uh, I don't. The, she is a flat character. Well, I, and she. I understand, like it's jarring because it's probably meant to be because he's jarred by that too. Like he's finally found another person after three years or however long it's been. They just never establish a good flow after that. It's like, ah, oh, the, the everything's you know the story has changed and there's more people now and it's not more of a solitary sort She's of not psychological as... drama, which yeah. is what it sort of is. But then she never adds anything. They don't move on from that being disrupted. It oh, just sort of you stays dirty disrupted. Oh, scoundrel! He just did a super sheep. Like He's got a sh what does a sheep do? They find you and then and then blow up. Blow up. So it's a, <laughs> it's an ISIS sheep. Uh, what? <laughs> Is there only one of us left? Is Paul the last one? I don't think so. Well, don't miss him. Uh, so here, and that's another thing, because you mentioned the quasi-religious part of it, and what? that was part of the issue is... It, mm. you wait. When she shows up saying, there's a safe house in this exact town in Vermont, and I know that it's there... Because the disease can't spread in the cold, and I know all of this because God told me. And I'm like, I'm sorry, if you can't even convince a religious person to buy that as a plot device, it's a bad plot device. It's like, I, sh I, have, I am probably better disposed than most people to accept such a contrivance, and it was not acceptable to me. I'm like, no, sorry, that's just bad writing. Because it, the other film it put me in mind of... Oh, well. We lost to AI. It's a narrative for the future. <laughs> um, because the other film that Brian would think of is Book of Eli, which is a book that is also has a very strong, or not a book, a movie, with a crucial divine revelation plot. But that's not an anti-human. Well, no, no, not, that's not why. I'm saying this, is a, this is the separate criticism. It's not to do with the ending. Uh... Both films, you could argue, have a plot moment of divine revelation. And The Book of Eli feels far more... That's just insulting. <laughs> Nordic nasties, this is gonna uh, be too... That's awful. Um, <laughs> the Book of Eli, I think, and you think you would agree, the divine revelation in that is far more in keeping with biblical interpretations biblical of actual... Interpretations it's like, this is how it usually happens... Uh, when the guy. It fits, he's still very much in a dystopian context. He's like, yeah, yeah they're I'm both steel, but yeah, it's, they're, a, it's they're not both, the same context. It's a okay, bit, I'm not. We're not talking about morality. We're talking about divine revelation. Well, but I'm saying it still fits the like. She felt a little. The reason why I think well, because she, she shows up, we have no idea about who she is, and then it's like God told me this random piece of plot exposition. Well, it's like almost like borderline angelic too. It's like, mm, like they sure. even the way they. I mean, bring I, don't her her, is, I don't think they make her. I don't think they make her out to be. I just think it's it's way, very one dimensional. As, she's certainly not as battle. Yeah, but that's not Hard that's not required. Well, but it see, is required. how no. did they survive up to that point? Well, because she was on a she was on a boat. So like they no. were they were yeah she said when she was on a, in the in one of their conversations she was on like a UN 
medical boat, so they were not on the land, which this is not my turn. But they're out in the middle of nowhere? And well, yeah, just... somehow they got to him, so I suppose the question is how that happened. But that's not even the issue. My issue is, in the Book of Eli, A, the, 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 the divine revelation in question is far more with in keeping with how that usually occurs. That was an awful attempt. Don't walk several feet down that hill. <laughs> um... But then, on top of that, uh, I'm probably just going to go through this, huh? You could, or you could go down and deal with the people down there. There aren't any people down guy. there. Oh, there are. There's loads yeah, of people down there. I, well, I don't want to sacrifice our guy. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Darn it. I'm sitting right next to it. Oh. Apparently, it's not going to go off. I thought it would. I just hurt oh, myself yeah. a little bit, but not that bad. Um. Because in the Book of Eli, I, I don't want to spoil it too much. If you're interested in dystopian movies about uh, where that have divine revelation plots, uh, he is, A, we see him as a character and his faith is far more integral to the character. It is. So it, it, feels less, it feels less disingenuous to have him be like, oh yeah, God told me this. Yeah. It's like, okay, I at least believe that you believe that. Whereas His I don't even, mission I don't that. believe that the woman in the thing, it's like, I don't even believe you. Yeah. Because you just came out of nowhere. It's like, I don't have any reason to believe that you believe anything. Uh, but then it's like, in the Book of Eli, his mission is, oh, I have to go west. Where, I don't know. For how long, I don't know. Where I'm going, I don't know. That's just what God told me. Yeah. It's like, well, that's what God told Abraham too, don't you know? He didn't. Whereas she's literally saying, there's a safe house in this town, and I know how to get there, and I know why the disease doesn't spread, because God told me all this. I'm like, I don't think God tells his angels this much stuff. Yeah. So it's like, that just felt really contrived. It felt like bad exposition, not like a decent plot structure. I don't know that I remember the the fact that she didn't know about the, the safe town yeah, that's your, I thought it was going to be like, okay, I've heard like, rumors, and I believe because I have faith. That could have been an equally, like, I still like have hope. I was on the medical boat, and therefore I heard it over Ham. I mean, well, like, yeah, either something like that, or even if it's just hearsay of, like, I've heard rumors of it, and you could have still had a somewhat compelling, like, faith-based... I believe it's true because I am choosing to believe or something. Right away. Ah! Well, it wouldn't let me. I was stuck on the hill. It did that to me, too. It's fine. Well, that was dumb. And how does that hurt more than getting bazooka'd there? Bazooka'd from bazooka-ing bazooka these guys. Bazooka'd. I can't speak. So, but that's where it's just like that. It That felt like bad exposition, and her arrival threw off the plot, in my opinion, and it never recovered. Now, had it ended theatrically, I might have never thought deeper. I just went, ah, oh, that was an okay action uh, dystopian sci-fi film. I don't know what he did he to you, but he wedgie kicked me off. He uh, he gave you such a hard wedgie that it was like a slingshot. But then the alternate ending made me realize, no, they're setting this up as a anti-human. Well, maybe okay, maybe that's too far. I don't think. I mean, I think it's a valid enough criticism because I don't know what else you could think other than. Ooh, shouldn't we think about how the monsters feel? And I'm like, no, not really. It's the Starship Troopers thing, where it's like, no, yeah. actually, I don't think the aliens who eat humans deserve much sympathy. Yeah. I don't actually think that there's anything to be gained from us sort of having to think, oh, but what? Are, how do they feel about us trying to cure them? It's like, I couldn't really care much. I care more about what the people they'll become think when they're cured. Yeah. Because that's the thing. He succeeds. He is, finds the cure. So it's not like he's... They could have at least saved it if they wanted it to be a cautionary tale about, I don't know, messianic having a messiah complex. They could have had it be where it's like, obviously it's never going to work. And he's just refusing to accept that because he's so grief stricken. And so all he's doing is basically just torturing them because he's refusing to accept. I, okay. Okay. That was not where I aimed that. Would you agree that that was not where I aimed that? You can't just tap it. You gotta hold it. Yeah. That's exceptionally dumb, because I thought he was close enough to not have that matter. <sighs> I'm not doing... Ah! Uh, oh, I've done terrible things. 
I forgot what I was saying now, too. I... Oh, had they done that where it's like, okay, he's just grief-stricken, he's been torturing these things in, in an attempt to find a cure that we all know doesn't exist, maybe you could have had it where it's like, okay, then the, then the correct thing for him to do is to just give up and go with this chick and try to live a healthy and life and, and get his get his mind back. Because it's clear that he's cracking. They and I think well, they he do does a good job. One part where well, it's like, like he talks to the mannequins the forever. Sun. Yeah, yeah. It's like that true. feels admittedly genuine. Like I think he, the up until that point I thought Will Smith had done like a great job at making it a compelling and where he sort does of that weird section where he's like almost flirting with tries the to flirt one. with the mannequin. It's like, okay, clearly the man's not well. We can all accept that. But Having it then be like, okay, if he was, if he's just too grief stricken to accept that this all has happened and what he needs to do is just move on, go with them to try to find a safe house and try to sort of get better, <laughs> try to become a normal person again, that would have at least been better than him succeeding at finding a cure and then feeling bad, I guess, about how he did it. Like, I'm sorry. I kind of think, because. The reason I think it's dumb is they're apparently thinking of making a sequel, and they've acknowledged that the that the alternate people ending. People have said this. Yeah. No, not people. The the studio has said this. No. And they've said they the alternate ending will be the canonical ending. The theatrical ending is basically being retconned, and the canonic uh, the the alternate is the correct one, and he'll still be alive, probably still trying to find the cure that he already had, and how he's going to administer it without angering these things, I don't know. So it's just it feels. Like, it's trying to morally browbeat you for what is obviously the correct course. I, the thing, well, the thing that would have made more... I, I initially liked the alternate ending simply because of the fact that... How do a, they do that? What I, what I said about, like, the moral... These? The moral uh, underpinnings or, like, the religious underpinnings is when he steps back out, to me, that's him trusting in... A bit of the divine sovereignty of God, the hand of God. In I that. didn't catch. He's giving I don't think he ever felt a. Because well, then he goes with them, and they still go to the safe house. It's not like they stay in the town and like go, "Hey, these guys aren't going to kill us anymore." Like, they leave still. It's just that in that moment, God gives them the ability to walk through. I don't think he ever. I don't think I never got a religious aspect dying. from his perspective. Well, the reason is because if you look, the reason I got that impression was because if you look at the way in which he interacts with these zombieish, you know, people, they can't. It's, it's almost, almost like, like they are being restricted in the same way that no, like Daniel and no, the it's lions the, No, it's the alpha. Kind of the alpha is preventing them from contact. attacking him. That made, They make that clear. They make that very clear because when they like get all up in his face, the dude shouts at them and then they back off. So it's not that. It, I, all I'm saying is that I got the impression that it was a little bit of a... That, it would have been okay to me if they went that route with it, but no. my... When I rewatched the the actual uh, theatrical version, or the which one is the real the the actual version that went into release for what, what the theaters, the one when he dies. Yeah. Uh, when I watched that one, I I thought to myself, even though I don't like it as much because of the fact that he dies and I find that to be obnoxious, it makes more sense in that okay, now I have the cure, I have to protect. These people that now have to take the cure to the actual to this weird compound. safe place that God told this woman so about. So therefore, gave her a street address so and a GPS and everything. I have to kill all the people. As a matter of fact, there was vicinity. a second star in the sky that just appeared to lead her to the place. So I was like, okay, that I suppose makes more sense. But then at that point, you would have to make the second movie certainly without him and say, no, he's not in this movie. You know. So. So I yeah. I don't. I think. I don't think he had any religious conversion experience that you're kind of describing. Hmm. I don't think, because I certainly don't think the film was intending to have it be like, ah, oh, he, they're being prevented from attacking him by... Okay, really? Because I was trying to mimic the arc thing, because that's not a far distance. I mean, I guess I hurt him slightly, but I don't know how they control these things so well. I, yeah, it's clear that it's the alpha creature thing that's preventing them from attacking him because the woman they're trying to rescue is his person. Yeah. And it's just like, I am not feeling any sympathy. It's like, yes, they're reunited and you can tell that they care for each other. I'm like, I don't care at all. 
Because I don't care that, oh, they might have some sort of shell of a social hierarchy. And they still have some amount of care, I guess, for each other. That certainly doesn't stop them from having care for the humans they've eaten. It's like, I'm afraid this is not the kind of thing that we could just get over. We suck. We're just dying to a bunch of everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I, uh... So I just thought the whole thing was I don't know that it ever good. was my favorite movie in the world. It certainly is not like, oh, I... My, I don't know that I ever said you must watch this, but you I mean... You were astonished that I had not. I'm, I was surprised that you hadn't seen it. I... I agree that his acting, Will Smith's acting, definitely carries it, uh, it well at the beginning and throughout a lot of the actual character arc. Like, for instance, when he has to kill his dog, that's really tragic because it's obviously the dog that his, you know, his daughter had or whatever. Um, so that part, like all those kinds of parts of the movie made it compelling. The part that bothered me was the... It felt like she didn't have enough grit, in my opinion, to have even survived that long. And in that, it was a little bit like, you mean to tell me that when he was down there with all of those freaking monsters on his car, she just done got into the car? No, oh, yeah, they probably didn't care That's about what her. I mean, like, they may not have cared about her because maybe the only reason they were attacking him is because he's kidnapping their people. That's what no. the film makes you think. Well, that, yeah. It's like, yeah, they'll just leave him alone now that he's given this thing back. The only reason they were attacking, forget all the people they ate. He was just the one that they wanted to attack because he stole their woman. Now, granted, I know she has a flare or whatever that's supposed to have scared them or something, but I'm like, that, no, that feels thin. Yeah, I, yeah. What, so I do have that criticism. It that lost me when she arrived and it just never got me back afterwards. It could yeah. have, because I understand they. If, if you're going to introduce a thing like that, they're going to have to have a bit of a. There's going to be a jarring. <laughs> I'm really not pulling wow. any punches with this. There, it's going to be a jarring <laughs> moment to be like it was this solo sort of guy going insane, and now there's people, and so that disrupts. But it, you would have had like here's a break, and everyone's kind of unstable, and like ah, oh, there's people, and I haven't seen people for three years. And then they establish a new, like, here's where we're going. But they don't. Because she's not compelling. She pulls a plot contrivance out of her butt. And then the ending is bad. Did you drop this? Um, well, I, yeah. I, I don't know that... You felt like it was a spicy take, though. You, you thought... Like, Everyone seems people... to remember this film well and think that it was great. And it did. Like, it was a massive... It's a I mean, thing it for a reason. Yeah, I mean, it certainly got a lot of feedback, but I don't know. I don't know. So, I, I mean, I, I have not seen anybody, unless there's the weird, I don't know, incel forums of all the people who agree with me about Avatar thinking that the naive, or whatever they're called, naive. are uninteresting and a little bit hoity-toity. I, yeah, let's talk about that. Let's, let's get to the, that's the spicier opinion. Apparently. No, I think that you're correct in saying it's a white... It's a, it is trying to, like... It's basically shame. just, oh, we're bad people. And it's yeah, like, exactly. well, okay. Maybe the reason... Maybe it would be easy to be a nice person if the planet gave you everything you needed in your life ever. It's like, sure, I'd grant you that. If life was just a paradise, we probably would be much better people. However, it isn't. So, I don't know why you're bringing this up. Yeah, it's a little... I don't know. I never saw the second one. Does the second one continue? It's... Oh, it's... The second one's hot trash. Uh, but is it Caleb, hot trash friend, for the same reason? Actually, Is it equally it? anti-human? No, it's worse than anti-human. It's the worst film I have seen in a load of years. Like, literally what they did, they brought back, I kid you not, this is how bad it was. These guys are somehow, just too good at this. Somehow, the guy lives. Well, because he's just too much testosterone. <laughs> Gear testosterone brings him back to life. Either that, I can't remember, it's like his brother, but it's literally like... Well, that would be a It's dumb. like literally the most... You just brought back the same villain, Let's put him back into the world again, and now... Let's and get Vietnamese up in here. 
<laughs> that's probably not the right way to say Stop. that. <laughs> no, that's not napalm strike. It's fire punch. No, the other one was napalm. Oh. <laughs> Uh, literally, literally it, was it was like, like and now he just, just has some kids, kids, so now there's some extra elements to it, and it's the stupidest. Oh, so hang on, you're not even sure that it was the same guy? Oh no, like, uh, it was the same actor. So is it the same guy? Like, within the is it a clone film, of the guy, remember. or is it? it? I think it was probably something stupid like that, where it was like, it's like what is, okay. what? All I'm saying is the Imperium of Man might be at this... <laughs> It might be a problem and, like, not great, but you certainly don't want any of the other options. Which is... I'm making a 40k reference, which I'm not even that familiar with. <laughs> but it's just like, I, there's something about... It's like, oh... Because I, you know, misanthrope that I am, I'm not anti-human. No, exactly. I'm not going to turn my back on the entire species just because of whatever his motivation was. I don't even remember. Sex. <laughs> Basically... Most potent. Don't shoot her in the honey. That's not the part he's interested in, I guess. Oh, you don't know that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh. You didn't think I was going to say that. You thought I... <laughs> oh, your reaction I just was find it. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm being deliberately edgy. I don't think so. I mean, I do think that it... It gets a bit tired. Oh, goodness. I really sent him flying. It is the taking part. So apparently we just need an easier, an easier uh, enemy. One we've defeated a few times before. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Only once, I'd like to point out. <laughs> the, uh... One man's trash is another man's treasure. That wasn't even an attempt at an accent. Um, I, I do think that oftentimes they go too far in saying morality. How do they do what he's about to do? Look at what he's going to do. You will not catch its cup. Like, that's not just to, that's not just. Was that the bazooka, though? Yes. I don't think it's a bazooka. Well unless, well, unless it's a thing I don't know how to use. Why am I down here? Do we have the option to aim it like that, though? That's the question. I don't know. I'm in Maybe the cave. We shoot it directly what if up? I stay here? Uh, it will behoove us for a time. It seems like the safest thing I could do it is, to stay but here. then eventually if it's sudden death, then you will go be well, the Well, we've never lived long enough to get to sudden well, death. Then just well, then hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I could still attack from here. Well, that's true. All right, we're going to Vietnam. Fortunate son. The fact that you said song it makes it all the worse. Fortunate, that's the name of the song. <laughs> oh, some folks are born made to wear the flag. All right. What? Oh, okay. I thought it blew up in the air for some reason. I'm going to get a bunch of them. Bye, Seb. Seb? Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> he just... <laughs> Ow. That didn't even hardly hurt him. Well, I mean... We've learned a lesson. Don't use napalm against Orientals. <laughs> Where are the nukes? Apparently it's the only option. Oh my gosh, the A-bomb. I'm Where sure the it? game has nukes, doesn't it? I'm sure. It, it must. They call it I'm just the, saying it was they the... They call it the nuke of the North. It won once, it'll win again. Wow. I would like America's to... That is my I apologize. Uh, well, we actually did that, so <laughs> apologize uh, on behalf of, of who? <laughs> of uh, I mean, I hate melons. <laughs> oh, don't. That's unrelated. But now people are gonna think it is somehow. And think that's some kind of a slang. <laughs> I I don't know. Oh, that's us. Okay. Well, we're doing better, it seems, this round. So, you, you gonna join me in my uh, Imperium of Man? Well, I'm certainly gonna join you in saying. Hang on one second. Suck it. Oh, that say, was suck too it. low. Shocker, I think, is what he said. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. Uh, 
I, I don't know that I felt that way the first time I saw I Am Legend, but I don't disagree with you that it a bit... I mean, you can see the thread throughout, and I don't know that I ever recognized that before. I would say I certainly took the theatrical ending to be a bit more Daniel in the Lion's Den concept. But that was would like, have been equally silly. Why? Because it's just, it's clear that the thing is communicating to him. If it was like he hears our voice from God and he opens the door, it's like, okay. He does kind of. I mean, it was no, like, he, the thing communicates no, to him. It's the dead, the butterfly thing. Yes, it's but the, that's not a voice from God. The thing does the butterfly. The thing literally draws the butterfly and that's how he knows that that's what he's looking for. He's looking for his chick. And I'm like, okay. See, again, you don't see that as a providential, like, okay, how would they have known that the... Because they clearly are, they're, they're attempting throughout the movie to establish that they have some amount of cognizance. Yeah, but they would, even if they had cognizance, they wouldn't have known that that was significant to him based on his daughter. I don't think they did. They, the woman has the butterfly tattoo. Yes, but that... So that's clearly where we're going. The thing, the guy's just trying to communicate that he wants his woman. I don't know. And that's where I'm like, if See, that... you're simplifying that. I, I don't like think I, I am. I think the film portrays I'm it that way. I'm okay to bring in Hang on, I pressed the, elements I pressed the are, wrong button. Feels. Ah! No! Well, you don't have to, okay. <laughs> I did it just in time. That cliff no longer exists. That cliff was, was accidentally destroyed maliciously. I, cause the thing what makes the butterfly pattern on purpose, and that's how he realizes that the chick with the butterfly tattoo is his side piece. And so he's like, ah, oh, I'll give her back cause I'm not gonna cure you for some reason. Cause it would be colonial or imperialist of me somehow. I'm sure that's what their narrative was. <laughs> it would be wrong of me to force you to get better. <laughs> Wow, that really just didn't land well. <laughs> hey, did it okay. not? Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just. Alright, what are we gonna do about. Let's see. Um, what can we just do? Just leave. Just airstrike with him. Where's the nuke? There's gotta be a nuke. Or did we use all of them? Use the airstrike and the napalm. Don't want the sheep. Mega mortar. Yeah, well, that probably needs more. You're taking too long. I don't have options really. What does the bandana do? It seems fitting. It's a it's a kick. Oh, that's not even interesting. Close. Well, I, well that's gonna have to yeah. You're gonna have to shoot that from yeah, here. Yeah, it doesn't work. Well, you're gonna waste our time. Well, I might as well just do that. Um, I. I don't, I'm more comfortable giving some latitude for, I guess, the religious underpinning. I just think but maybe But it's clear that, that it's not, it's it isn't that they can't. It's that he, it's that whatever their leader guy tells them not to. Sure. That's very obvious. But isn't, isn't that somewhat providential? No, because they're, the whole point is they're establishing that they do have at least somewhat higher brain function because they created the trap for him. So they're not totally mindless. Uh, and he thinks that they have no social structure, but they clearly do because they listen to this thing. So they're setting up that this thing is in charge and wants something he thinks he can get from him and is attempting to communicate with him. And so that's what he does. I don't think that there's anything providential about that. I think it's clearly that they're saying the guy wants his woman back and that's it. I would use it now and get these the guys... Use the what? The homing We don't have it. It's gone. Yeah, no. Does it come back? Oh, this one. I didn't, yeah. How do you uh, do it? Right, that guy. You just aim it and I it goes? Say, well, I would do the 77. That makes more sense, but no. that's fine. Go ahead. Because I, th I don't trust that I will hit it. Push B. I did. Uh, oh, oh, you... So you have to select the target then. Okay, I pressed B and I thought that that was it. <laughs> I thought that it would just do it. <laughs> well, we still have one more. <sighs> yeah, I think you're giving it credit that it the film doesn't deserve. That, that's a fair it, I criticism. Think it I'm sets, not saying it sets that up early enough that I don't think any divine influence is required. 
The only divine influence in the film is that the woman knows that there's a safe house because God told her. And I'm like, I just don't buy that. <laughs> it's not... Well, it feels like plot contrivance. It does not feel like genuine... Yeah. Clever writing about, you know, faith and belief and whatnot. Oh. I don't even are most of these abilities. So that's a jetpack. This is a aqua pack, which is similar to a jetpack. The only difference is that it leaves water behind you. So if you're in a tight spot, that's not the best. It's a parachute so that you can fall without dying. Teleport gun allows you to shoot to a place and then you teleport there automatically. Oh, well, that would be, yeah, let's do that instead of... Worm, so, well, I can't do it from where I'm at right now because it would just teleport me to the top of the ceiling. Um, oh, it wouldn't teleport you through the rock? Through, no. Well, that's uh, dumb. It's not teleportation in that case. Uh, plug hole, I mm. think... I'm not gonna comment on that one, and I don't know. I don't know that I like your response. I thought that was a bit. Well, it was just the you're hmm. the, the way you said it was sort of so. <laughs> it was so nonchalant that I was like, okay, hmm. and it felt kind of out you of just, nowhere. Just, just plug hole. Oh, <laughs> was he even like, oh? Well, that would have been far worse. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, I don't, I would I have, it, so I would have thought it was weak, died. but it would have been better your, what you're describing. If it was genuinely like, all right, God intervenes mm -hmm. to push these things back. And, but even then that wouldn't make sense because that means the God's mission is like, you have to live and let live with these things. No, he's just letting him again. They I'm letting you give this car. thing back so that you can't cure humanity. Well, she, they already got the vial. They of didn't. Her blood. Yes, they did. I don't believe they did. I think he, he gives her back, and it's like no, because he he undoes the cure. She's being she's in the process of being cured, and he unhooks it. It's like but I'm gonna he give. Has the blood already? I don't think he does. Uh, that's not what I gather because I don't at think the end he... of the film it talks about the fact that they're taking it over to the new compound. No, they aren't. That's the you thing. You missed that, I think, because no. that's at the end of the film. I watched sure. it, and they're like, he goes with her, and they're like, we're gonna try to find the safe house, and I guess we'll try to keep looking for a cure, but not from that chick we already had the cure from. We're gonna have to start with a chick that's unaffiliated. Well, at least the problem was that she was at taken. Worst. She at worst, they're gonna do it again. No, I, I'm saying at worst, he just has to do that same exact formula to somebody else. It's well, not yeah, but like that's she not. Unique. But that's a waste of time and energy when you could have just said, "Hey, we've got the thing. We've got the cure. But I have to uncure this yeah. woman oh, to okay. give her back to her weird vampire man." It's our turn, by the way. Oh well, I'm just... he's. Oh, get the health. That'll need... at least offset. Run over there. Why do I need this? Because it's gonna I don't even help think us. I'm not... hurt. Well, it's at least more... What can I do now? No, no, no. No, 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 no. And... All right, so I have to click hit... It. So I'll click it once, and then I aim up into the sky. There you go. What? Oh, he's got the dumb... You could have told me. I didn't know I what didn't that was. I thought he was. I thought he was healing himself or no, something. I didn't think about it. It's my fault. That's really frustrating. It is forever. <laughs> oh, really I'm so. Oh, uh, yeah. Stupid I, Seb. Had it been and his lack of being burnt by incendiary <laughs> devices. Yeah, he didn't. That's yeah. He's. Ouch. <laughs> he's just like, Ooh. <laughs> Uh, I yeah. get what I deserve. Well, this is dear, too, uh, by the way. Um, yeah, had it been, he's clearly cracked and there is no cure and the solution was to give up. I mean, that sounds a bit negative, but I mean, if the solution was literally just to give up and let go of his sort of grief and the sense that he failed and to leave with the woman and try to find a decent life to go back to normal... That would have at least, I mean, it would have been a little anticlimactic, but it would have at least felt satisfying. But the fact that he succeeds at curing this disease and literally uncures this woman, who was in the process like the disease, like the thing was working, and he unhooks it so that she can go back to being a vampire zombie, so that she can go back to living her anarcho-primitivist life with her vampire zombie boyfriend, 
I'm like, I'm sorry, but these are not the priorities. Regardless of the empathy you do or do not feel. It is indicative of the current culture. Yeah, it's like, regardless of the empathy you should or should feel for this. zombie boyfriends. It just doesn't... It doesn't track no matter how you think of it. It really it's doesn't. Absurd. I I do think that it's sad that they almost act like they villainize him when then the reality is you again like you said you would have to be like I don't care what you want right yes. now you are going to be cured because then later you won't you'll know that that was yes, the better but option. you'll be yes but you can't force anything on any it's an anti colonial narrative I'm I'm just sticking with it I think I'm right or about that. Or is it that. an anti -me medical? It's well, like, either yeah, I guess it could. It's either that or a sort of. Big uh, farm. Kind well, of, I don't think it's that as much farm, as. So I'm gonna. Like just, so this is a mortar. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to aim more carefully. Maybe. I don't think I'm gonna be any good at this. Know that? What? There you go. Oh, that was On. closer. Well, not really. I didn't. I didn't have any control over them. That has nice. had much more chutzpah than I expected. Um. I for, uh, then it would have yeah been more of a it would have been more about his sort of savior complex and grief and the idea that I it's a sort of mad scientist narrative which yeah. would have been tired and kind of annoying anyways but it would have been better yeah or I guess they could have gone full divine intervention of like he I mean that would have felt cheap because it wasn't very well written what does that accomplish? What does water do? It buries me in water, so now I lose five health, and then any time I'm standing there without moving, I'm gonna lose five health. Well, then why would you do what you just did? I didn't. They did that. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, okay. Well, I think I've said my piece. I think I'm gonna you... look it up, because so... I guess... I don't know. I mean, apparently test audiences thought the way I did because they they did disliked it so much that the studio slapped on a different ending. They gave me another airstrike because they felt <clears> bad. <throat> oh, good. Blast them. Oh, don't miss. Uh, what is? Because the thing is, it's still well regarded even now. And legend. Let's see. What, what would you? What do you say? Response? Review? Only a fool Analysis. How about that? Do not I am Legend Analysis Online. Let's see what people say. A new beginning. Robert Neville. I've forgotten his name this entire time. Okay, most of these are actually talking about the book rather than the movie. Ah, I didn't realize there was a book. Yeah, so that's why the alternate ending exists is because it more closely matches the book, which is also clearly dumb if this is the plot it wants me to accept. Maybe it's better. I mean, I suppose I ought to give it some credit because books often are, but maybe it was more developed of like... Because I guess if the film had made it out to be that they're more obviously provoked into violence rather than that they are literally just blood-sucking zombies... It's like, but I'm afraid them being actually shown to be blood-sucking zombies is like, well then... Oh! <laughs> bloody! Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't I know... I was trying to arc it up slightly, I, right? I, I didn't know you could actually change it like that. Straight up in the freaking air. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, I was like, well... well summary. I want... What? Where do you go to find discourse on movies? These are natives. They don't know much about movies. Movie review, I guess, is all I can look up at this point. I mean, it's... Okay, never... Okay, 68 on Rotten Tomatoes. Maybe it was never that good. <laughs> maybe it just made a lot of money. Because I know it made a lot of money. That's true. So I mean, maybe that certainly... maybe it's like Avatar in that way, too, where it's made a lot of money and it wasn't actually that good. Well, it's a little bit like... People I mean, still seem to talk they, about it, though. What was that one movie that he did with his his son that was, like, about space? The weird Oh, world? yeah. That one was I have no clue too. at all. I saw it once and I was like, this is really bad. So what do people say? <laughs> Nothing that, at all. Maybe that's the, the spicy take. Right, what do you all... What what, what's the consensus here, guys? is that 
That that's it. He wanted her tail. That's what he wanted. <laughs> Avatar person. Yeah, keep it. Defaulted on all of humanity. I am legend. Oh, okay, that I that I'd agree with. Um. I'm not sure how to get to what I'm well, actually looking for because I'm looking for what I probably should look for is a YouTube essay about why it's anti-human. But bits of your bum. We don't want your whole bum. We'll take just a bit. Just a slice. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what about their cheeks? <laughs> they don't need them. Nothing attached. I mean, I suppose you wouldn't. You'd probably get by with half cheek in it. <laughs> Throughout life, gives a whole new meaning to half cheek in it. All right, you are the you're the top little uh, fat worm there over there that I. There just, you go. So people acknowledge you're, you're the gonna, ending. People acknowledge that it's your <laughs> turn. Well, the you other guy was strike. doing his thing. What does this do? That one's the fire punch. You have to be close again. I well, would. I gotta be close lob again. something. Lob a lob a lob. What if I play? lob? What if I lob this? Water strike, that's not gonna do much, but Fine, sure, I'll jetpack over to You them. could, actually, that would be Soon go up, go up, jet go up. Come. And do nothing because you're a fat son of a gun. <laughs> it wasn't working! I pressed it! What else was I supposed to do? <laughs> Push up. Hey, well, it was! So he literally is just a fat son of a gun. <laughs> Rockets can't lift him. Alright, what does Reddit think about the Wait, ending man, of I, I Am Legend? Rockets. Oh, he's gonna torch over to. Oh, we're playing this game now. You're gonna be in the middle. I'm literally Tommy. Yeah, you this are. actually makes sense. Trenchers. All right. Um, ending is awful and kills the whole vibe. Well, I agree with this one redditor. Wait, hang on. This guy thinks that the theatrical ending is awful and kills the vibe. I actually torched him. So then what about the alternate? Okay, so a lot of people think that it was bad. So here's a positive oh, review. What does he say? we died because of the water. That's dumb. So that means that they're winning now. That's my scout. Only like a flower. Please don't. Oh, it's my turn again? What? Time Hang on a second. Out. There's a version with Vincent Price from decades ago? Well, that sounds like a far more interesting tale. Vincent Price, I am legend. Because they're saying in that one he's the last person. And that the zombie things, whatever they are. Does not know the great sea. Okay. Okay, maybe the... Okay, that would be far more interesting. If that's the book, and this older version is a is a more faithful adaptation of the book, because that probably I is... I don't want it. I don't want it. One shot. Yeah, it was a terrible shot, bro. You just killed yourself. I'm done in the lead now. Okay. I think I might understand what they, what it's actually supposed to be. Okay, if this is how the book goes, I could see how this could be a more interesting story. Apparently, or at least I'm, I'm, I am making an assumption based on the little synopsis I saw on Reddit. <laughs> but apparently the way it's supposed to happen is that rather than being just like totally feral, the zombie mutant things... Oh, you... You... <laughs> Why not just blow that cliff off and have him drown? I'm trying to. He's the last guy, so I'm trying to get it taken care of. Well, just wait out. Just wait here until the sudden death and he'll be the first to drown. Well, that's true. <laughs> he just hurt himself, didn't he? No, he did a jump rope, which basically is like a way of skipping your own turn, which is dumb because I'm about to drop a... Are you though? Okay, Edgar. Are you gonna actually gonna have, do that? I guess we'll just. I mean, we could shotgun him and see if that works. Well, you'll blow a hole in the ground you're on. That's true. 
I'm just, I don't send the sheep after. <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. Yes, it will. The sheep will jump off the cliff. You know it will work though. I don't think that will work either. Yes, it will. Why would that not work the same way the grenade did, which is it would just bounce off? See? Well, now you've guaranteed that he'll drown. Oh, see, there you go. There you go, just get away. If you want an audience, start a fight. A new beginning. Rup, just good time. Um. Come on. So the way it's supposed to be is that they're, the creatures are, like, more advanced. Where it's like, essentially the argument is that that's just what humanity turns into. And it's rather than be them being, like... Is that hey, not going to hurt you? I'm trying to get back down. That basically humanity just becomes these sort of vampire creatures. Why did that happen? I guess I'm sitting on health, so whatever, but that was really ridiculous. I didn't, didn't catch realize it, there was so a thing up there. Well, you're fine. Go get that. <laughs> this guy's weird. And so the the point of the, of the older movie, and maybe the, perhaps the book, again, I'm summarizing and, and assuming is that basically he's the last actual human and just humanity moved on if that was what the film was attempting to portray then they didn't do it well because they're just feral monsters and it's like okay well this is obviously not any form of evolution or progress that we would consider positive if it was like yeah humanity basically just all become vampires and we all just have to sort of get along like, vampires are not mindless creatures. You could argue about, like, ah, oh, but aren't they monsters? It's like, well, not if everyone is. <laughs> if, if the entire planet was was vampires, I suppose it wouldn't matter at that point. So that, I suppose, could make for a more interesting book if that's how the book actually goes. Close, but, yeah. close but the way the film does it, it's just like, no, this is very clearly a disease that's ruining things, and these people are not better off. If they were trying to make it where it's like, oh, he did that, then it would almost be live and let live, where it's like, okay, this is just the course of evolution. Well, and it we've, feels a little we've, bit... We've changed because of this, and... So this is where I go... If, if it's still a stru social structure that has some... You just disagree with it, then it is a little then bit Then it is like, like okay, well, yeah, I'll just be the last... I won't... I'm not gonna join them, but... It, then that would make it would make a, a live and let live seem more possible if they're capable of reason. If it's just nope, they're monsters and you've just got to accept that. It's like I don't think so. Is he just not gonna move? I don't know if he can. Have they used? Yeah, he's just skipping rope until he, he dies. Mean, he doesn't. He's not able to torch. Normally they can torch over. So he's obviously uh, very. Uh, he's, he's he's learned his zen very well. He's just jump roping as he's about to drown. Oh God! Why are you still? Even so I'm trying to get. That wasn't that close at all. He's saying close but no cigar as he's you're this horrible legendary thing and yet the water rises. What? He's about to die. That's the you're this great legendary thing and yet he gains. It's the water is coming what is up. That? On him. From? It's from. Sounds vaguely familiar. I'm not gonna tell you because I think that's sad that you don't know that. I modified the quote initially, but the you you don't oh, yo, know the, he was this great legendary thing and yet he gains. It's I've only vague. It's it's uh, similarity. It's, uh Princess uh, Bride. Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen that. That is, by contrast, a great movie. It is not about. Me. Well, it's not even that it wouldn't be bad if it was about humanity. It's just that it wasn't it wasn't making a good point about humanity. Yeah, that actually I, sounds far more interesting. If it's like I, this is just the course of nature, and I'm not, I don't want, I don't want a part of it. But I'm just, you know, I will be the last of my kind, and what what we become after this is beyond me. It's like, well, okay, a philosophical, almost stoic kind of just say la vie kind of thing. I could almost get behind that, as much as it seems a little bit kind of depressing. But it's not. It wouldn't have had the the because there is still the vibe of like him attempting to undo this is the problem. And I'm like, well, when they're just a pack of zombies, yes, that is what you do. If it's yeah. like, yeah, there we've all, if all humanity turned into vampires, but it was still there was still reason and social structure and people were not mindless creatures, 
fine, I could understand being like, I won't go around just hunting all the vampires. Because then yeah. you'd be hunting all of humanity. Yeah. It's like, okay, sure, fair enough. You just give up at that point. Be philosophical about your coming demise. Yeah. And that would be, I guess, a dramatic and philosophical film, but that's not what the other one was. Well, this was Worms. I would prefer a simpler version of it. <laughs> hmm. If, the mecha if there weren't so many kind of useless tools you could use... I feel like that's what makes it fun, but that's... Well, it's just that there's so few of them that are I of any I guess I'm use. just familiar with it, so, like, I... Like, because once you get all the tools, it's even more, like, you can use super sheep that, again, run across and do the explosions. You can... There's, you, there's one called, uh... I think it's Banana Bomb or something like that. Dry Banana Hippie Hat! <laughs> Um, and it's it's one that is like a cluster bomb that blows up like an entire half the cliff. So you can. That's what we should have used. It's against the Geneva Convention, don't you know? No. So is. I am much. <laughs> I'm not actually of the opinion that Geneva Convention did us much good. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of in agreement with that. This seem. I've always thought that it was a dumb idea. Of like the concept of war crime. I'm like, really. I mean, on some level, it's like, okay, sure, genocide, yeah. But I feel like calling it a... It's like calling it a war crime is not what makes it bad. Whereas there are certain things where it's like, ah, oh, you're not allowed to target these kinds of buildings because they have cultural heritage. I'm like, okay, but tell that to the people hiding in it. Tell that to them for using it as a military base. It's like, I'm sorry that they decided to set up in a church, but that's not important. I don't know. I've probably painted a picture of myself throughout the, my various opinions in this video. Going, who's this colonialist man, pro-human, anti-church? Anti-church. Proto-genocide. I'm just saying... Uh, I don't know anything. I was gonna, I could make a 40k reference if I knew 40k better. I just said something apropos about mankind being... Dominion over the universe. <laughs> well, the granny never showed up, and I'm disappointed about that. I don't know, okay. <laughs>